I always thought Fabiano and I were friends. This is us in Azerbaijan celebrating Fabiano's gold medal in 2016. This is Fabiano and I at a baseball game in St. Louis. This is Fabiano with a homeless man wearing our merchandise. This is me and a cardboard cutout of Fabiano before he had his match against Magnus. Now the problem is, I've been paired against Fabiano twice in the last month during Tuttle Tuesday. And here's the issue, you're gonna see the two games we played, and then you let me know, is this what friends do to each other? Oh, we got Fabi, there we go, that's exciting. That's exciting, let me focus. All, all caps thanks to the Prime. Always good to play Fabi in his uh, thick, solid and tight E4 repertoire. Very thick. All right, I'll play. I'll play with the Fianchetto. I don't do that that often. Oh, I'm scared already. Ugh, Bishop E3. I'm down 30 seconds. I put. Let's uh, speed up a little bit, please. How do I re want to reroute my knight? How? Here? If I go knight here, b4 is absolutely being played. If I go d5. Oh man. Oh man. Just trying to fight for some space. Let's challenge the center. Now there comes Fabi, wheeling around. I'll go king h7 over protect. I could go uh, b4, but I have to be ready to meet a5 and bishop a4, which can get a little unpleasant, a little tickly. Yeah. Although I see a couple ideas. Eh, okay. Maybe it's playable. This bishop's not in the game right now. Queen back to d... d uh. I didn't think this would be bad for me. Because I go queen e7. This is why it's nice my king's here. And rook d8. I don't feel like... I was on the bad end of that. But maybe I was. Maybe I am. I need some speed. I think Fabi's gonna try to play knight d2 and uh, some sort of b4 at the right moment. Holy shit! I didn't see that move. Uh oh. That's a big boo boo. Okay, no. Now my position is uh, <laughs> facing technical difficulties. For sure. Losing, uh, losing my uh, bishop like that is a huge, uh, 
Huge problem. No, now I'm now I'm now I'm dead. That's a pretty common tactic, so it's not really acceptable to fall for it because uh, probably my position was relatively okay otherwise. But after after that, not so much. Look at what I'm dealing with here. Not the happiest regarding that blunder. Uh, yeah, got ground down there. I like the resistance I put up, but I thought I was like... The problem is I was suffering the whole game. I came up with a bit of counterplay at the end. But I'm down on time and down on position. We always get Fabby. And he likes, he likes doing dirty things to me. Okay. Oof. Hi. I said hi to him. Hopefully I can distract him for a few seconds. Because he's a polite guy. He usually says hi back. Make sure to talk on your opponent's time. Oh, he didn't say hi. Okay, I'll play the Berlin.
is this theory. That's not good. Because if you play theory against somebody who's really good at theory, they're gonna win the sword fight. Fabi has a long sword. It extends 25 moves. So I'm already like kind of concerned. Did you guys play Age of Empires? Long Swordsman? Two handed. Yeah, those guys were, yeah. I'm going to try to set up the blockades. Uh oh. Something bad's about to happen to me. Which means I have to go here. He's going to go there and try to. Oh my goodness. I'm in bad form. 96. I didn't see C5. I'm in bad form. That's not good. Am I never not in bad form though? That's also a good question. Yeah, that's, that's a fair point though, right? When am I in good form? Some people have watched for many years and not seen it. Like my bishop, this is my bishop. It has range of one. He's gonna go bishop c3. He's gonna sit on my face. Oh. Is a bit embarrassing. But we're gonna go rook d5. <clears throat> Bobby! I mean, dude. Channel our Hikaru. Do well in the lost position. Easier said than done. I bet you he's going to play queen here at some point. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to put our knight on uh, e4 and try to confuse him. I have a question for the chat. Do you think um, he would have won if he played Ding or Nepo, if Fabi played the World Championship match? Because the level he played against Magnus is extremely high. But you play up to your opponent often. Because a lot of people played really well against Magnus, Karyakin, for example. But. All right, we're going to play h5 in a moment. Yeah. Good. Because I want to eliminate this knight. Then even if I'm down like 100 pawns, yeah, we're going to play for h3. getting worse and worse <laughs> he's really uh he's really fucking me up right now hey holy smokes oh my word oh my word
I have to resign. This was not it. That's, I got, I got massacred. This queen here was a big blunder because I'm just in big trouble here, I think. So.